was a long and brutal struggle. I still get shivers when I think of the countless rejections I had faced. Hey everyone, I am Srimanthi, your tech buddy and tutor, and I am here to share about how I landed my first ever software engineering internship. I did not know coding at all when I first started college, and everyone around me already knew coding. I was so lost. There were some people who were already masters on Codeforces, which is an insanely difficult coding platform. The first coding language being taught was C++, which has an extremely steep learning curve. So obviously, I devoted almost 6 to 8 hours daily practicing coding problems and learning about data structures, maps, stacks, queues, sets. And when I thought it's enough, then I realized that it's not even the tip of the iceberg. I attended a career counseling session on top mid and that's when I realized that you need to do lead code and code forces in order to get good at coding and actually land interviews and jobs. Needless to say, it was all compile errors and wrong answers at first, even the easiest problems like to sum. So that's when I started learning DSA from Geeks for Geeks and it was really good, not these paid courses but normally all the algorithms that are available here for example let's say dynamic programming and after doing this for almost a month finally i got my first accepted albeit on the easiest problem but still a win is a win i remember i got so obsessed with dsa that even while traveling i used to solve code forces or lead code problems this is the level of <coughs> obsession I had with landing a job and internship and I think that played a huge role in getting the amazing software engineering internship in my second year. Obviously, the semester load was immense but coding and DSA definitely was more important. And once I had gotten up to specialist on code forces, then I decided to attend another career counseling session organized by our college tech club and that's when I realized that resume had to be made. Of course, I had no projects. I was just in my first year. I didn't even know the W of web development. But whatever they often say. Ignorance is bliss. I applied to so many research internships under professors and needless to say, I got ghosted. So I finally decided to bite the bullet and build some web development apps from scratch. Here's the first web dev app that I built. Flappy Bird Game. Mind you, this was pre-GPT era, so I had to build everything from scratch. Let's see. Okay, I'm really bad at this game, but yeah. Next one was a little bit more involved and it was called a DS coin and it was a blockchain based project where we had to implement different data structures like max heap, min heap, um, binary search, everything. For example, a blockchain honest where we were adding the different blocks and the linked list blocks and it was a part of my course project, but I learned a lot. And lastly was this personal website that I had built at that time. Obviously, when you are first starting out, these are the projects that you generally build. And I'm glad to say that it's still hosted here at alexriderspy.github.io. Yeah, it was my username. You know, people do stupid stuff at the time. And this is like my project that I had built all like without any kind of GPT because it was pre-GPT era basically. Around this time, after second semester, I got to know about Educative.io from one of my seniors and I decided to check that out for web development and system design. Yeah, I got to know that system design was often asked in many interviews like for JP Morgan and for DE Shaw, etc. So yeah, this is like a pretty cool system design course that Educative.io has. And also I checked out Educative.io for React and Node.js and after learning this I created this app which was like a PDF chat app where you can upload your PDF documents from here. It shows uploaded successfully and then you can select it and do other stuff. Next I got to know how we can stand apart in the crowd with the help of AI and ML from another career counseling session on TopMate. I really think TopMate played a huge role in achieving my goal. And I'm sharing all that I learned on TopMate for free because I don't want to gatekeep. So 
of course, I finished the full Andrew NG course on machine learning during my winter break and started adding simple projects on regression and binary classification. And here's what my resume looked like finally after listening to all the advices and adding all the projects from educative.io and my career counseling sessions on TopMate. So these were my scholastic achievements, technical skills. So I also added all the voluntary internships that I had done at Ashmita Foundation, She Codes. These were all different like unpaid internships. We all start somewhere, right? And this was all the projects that I mentioned, my DS coin, my personal website and the web application. And even I implemented some of the ML algorithms as part of a course on machine learning by Andrew NG, as I mentioned. And yeah, as I would say, I also was a part of like quite a few clubs in my college. So these were all tech clubs. I was not much of a social person at that time. So I was mostly working as an executive at the algorithms and coding club where I was preparing problems. And this is how I also learned a lot about the different competitive coding topics and all. And I was also a developer at Dev Club in IIT Delhi and I was working as a backend developer. Once my resume and projects and DSA was in order, then I started to give lots and lots of mock interviews on TopMate. That is what I think separated me from the crowd and helped me land the internship as soon as possible. Then I applied to all the companies that I knew would hire for second year students, which weren't many, but of course I got rejected, rejected in every one of them until I landed my first software engineering internship at Google. And I would not have been able to definitely land this internship if I had not gotten a referral from one of my very very kind seniors. I really think I had gotten very lucky here and I am really so much grateful to that senior for giving me that amazing amazing referral when I was at my lowest and getting so many rejections. The salary was 1 lakh per month which was really really good for a second year student and it funded two semesters of my college and took a huge burden off of my parents. I am so glad for that. Honestly, if you are chasing your first internship, you don't need 10 years of experience. You need just one solid project that proves you can ship, a resume that speaks the employer's language and a system for getting your work in front of humans. Drop a comment with your stack and what you are building and I'll reply with one tweak to help your project stand out. It was really really awesome and very difficult and very frustrating at times, definitely. That's the story of every journey. And I really hope that you can land your first software engineering internship as well very soon. All the best and good luck. I have shared all the resources in the description. I would like to talk about NodeGPT.io and it is like an amazing tool that all college going students should have and I feel really bad and regretted that I did not have this amazing tool when I was in my college. So you can create amazing presentations with just a, you cannot find that anywhere else and at such cheap prices as well. 